Hello and welcome back. Let's see if we can both start the timer and actually stick to it this time round. We are currently in a war with Opland, in which our aim is to subjugate Opland. It's a war declared by my father, so I'm not sure if it counts as my once per lifetime subjugation, but if it does, that's a shame. If it does, then we'll just take the uh, thing, the uh, ambition later ourselves. Uh, can we move you yet? Yeah. Can't train troops there because that's not our holding. I forgot that we lost that holding as well. So actually you would join us if we give you some money. There you are. Join my plot. Filled the ambition to have a son. It's ambition to have a daughter, just to make sure. Excellent. Right, let's raise our levies here. levies here. Oh well. Should be fine. Let him get over there, 4th of August. Okay, and then revoke. Then more it is. New marshal, this guy. Let's go. <coughs> now, this shouldn't be a difficult war because all we're doing is sieging. This is a more awkward war because we can't actually get anyone over there right now. without spending money on it. Okay. Back at two holdings again. Both with market villages. Which brings us up to 0 0.49. We're making almost half a ducat every month. How amazing is that? It's pretty darn amazing. Right. Must have more gold, become stressed. Let's improve our light infantry since we're going to be mostly light infantry. See if anybody's willing to join this war yet. No, not really. No, go away. This is unfortunate, and we don't seem to have our alliance with the King of Denmark anymore either. So can we offer a white piece here? Uh, lose 10 gold and some piety if I surrender. So actually I'm not going to lose the prestige I thought I would from surrendering. That's actually not so bad. However, our only ally is kind of a bit preoccupied being invaded by Sweden. Yeah, sorry, being invaded by Denmark. Which is not good for us. What is this? Danish subjugation of Sweden. He's presumably only subjugating one province there. 
Right, let's uh, hire a crew of bandits again. Let's not bring the theologians with us. The priests. Looks like this war may take some time. Uh, the king of Northumbria, let's give him some quality cloth. Perhaps he'll appreciate that. I'm also hungry. Ah, uh, no, yes, yes. Now he's winning this war. Ah, he might be okay. In which case he might come and help us sometime soon. That would be nice. If he can help us before we get to negative a billion. Once again, our trading post seems to be not going ahead. Let's mint some more coins. 100 gold, 100 prestige. Come greedy. I'm sure there must be a downside to that event. I'm sure there must be a reason that we're not supposed to be just constantly devaluing currencies. But I don't know. I, I'm not seeing it yet. <laughs> Start of the Viking Age. Right, the centralization of power in Scandinavia, um, along with a rapid population expansion, has begun to drive its denizens to look beyond their sh home shores in earnest. Uh, receive shipyards and increase shipbuilding technology, and we get new CBs. Wonderful. So, let's take a look at what that means. That means that we can now raise 18 boats as soon as they've, uh, as soon as those come through, we can start raiding. So we, we'll keep him on um, reinforcement rate to reinforce the ships quicker. And then we'll go raiding. Meanwhile... Well, meanwhile nothing really. <coughs> meanwhile we'll wait and hope that Svithjod, the Karajite faith, the adherents of the Abadi faith have been taken over by their heresy. That's fine, whatever. Uh, let's debase the mints again because it seems like it's still a good idea. A thriving economy! Excellent! <laughs> what? How is our economy thriving? Well, whatever. Is this mountains? It is mountains. Just thinking we could hire a merchant ship to sail over there. But if we did that, we still wouldn't really have enough troops to actually fight him. Uh, let's debase the mints some more. This seems to be uh, a thriving economy. This seems to be um, coming up a lot, <laughs> this event. It's making me worry. <laughs> We've got loads of prestige as well. It gets just 100 gold and 100 prestige. So good. Market town has been built. Let's, uh, let's build something that requires prestige because that way if we die it's not an issue. We'll keep the money no matter what but we don't necessarily keep the prestige all the time. Uh, sure. This, this guy. He's not independent, but we'll set up just in case he gets independence or wants independence. Right, now it looks like Swithyod is actually coming to fight in our war. Make a move. Perfect. It's good to be the Jarl. You should probably be here rather than anywhere else. And yeah, as soon as he sieges that down, we're actually just 100% win the war. Wonderful.
How are our boats doing? We've got four already. The Vragian Guard. Uh, Leon, the great king of the Greeks. He looks, uh... What culture is he? He's Greek. Hmm. We've changed the portraits. Uh, is distraught over the poor metal of his countrymen. Knowing well our skill in battle, he has decided to form a bodyguard consisting solely of Norse warriors. Those who serve him in the great city of Mitlegerd are generously rewarded, and even now many of our young men, eager for riches and adventure, have departed for Greece to pick up our banner. Pick up his banner. A banner. There's a banner definitely being picked up. Excellent. 100% victory. Enforced demands. I win. So, do I still have the subjugation CV? I do. He's my ally. But it might be worth it. Sure, let's do it. It didn't backfire last time we did it. So we lose 50 prestige for that. What? No. That, please. Okay, who wants to join in? Nope. Swiftyard will. And you will, whoever you are. You won't. Okay. That should be enough. My wife is pregnant. We've got a dangerous faction. Independence faction. Sod off. <coughs> oh, the King of Saxony is going to help, as is the person of Silfjord. A merchantman has managed to find out the coins you minted were a bit shady and didn't contain the metals that they were supposed to consist of. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, there's the disadvantage. Lose 200 prestige. That's not so good. <laughs> ah, well. At least we spent the prestige before we lost it. <laughs> I wonder if that can happen a second time. Because we did it twice. I guess more to the point, can it happen multiple times per me choosing that event? So I've chosen it three times now? So if it happens more than three times, then yeah. Oh. I had another bastard child, but that's no problem. Oh, we've got more betrothals, people to marry. Oh god, I don't even know what's going on. And we should start raiding soon. Got basically enough boats to hold. Oh, we did have enough boats. Our vassals are no longer particularly happy with us. So maybe we don't have enough boats anymore. Okay, excellent. Another vassal. Another happy vassal. Hello. Okay. How are our boats looking? We can get six boats. So we can start raiding whenever we want. Also, we can just declare a conquest on that guy. Cool. Have you got any allies? Eh, nobody important. They probably don't have boats. How many troops do you have? 279. Right, I can defeat 279 people. Let's do that. This is unfortunate. We can't actually get all our people on boats because we can't split up these 660 people. Okay. Tell you what. You organise a raid. Then raise the troops. 575. We can fit those onto a boat. If we bring all of our boats over. The importance of having lots of boats. Oh, he is calling his allies into the war. Oh well, it won't matter. Right. Boats. Gather up. We're going. 
going to war. We've built our practice range. Let's build our... Oh, we don't have the technology for it. Town infrastructure. Okay. Well, in which case, let's build the Earth Hill Fort for now. Five hundred and seventy-five guys at half morale. They've got a defensive bonus. We win. Right, we can expand these guys then. Expand the boats. It's not EU four. We don't need to blockade. Uh, give Gunner a chance. So really, we want to be upgrading our town infrastructure soon. That's fine. We can do that. Right, the Shear again. Shear just can't be put down, really. Right, so we've conquested that. Do we now have conquest on you? No. Okay. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Right, I'm going to end this episode just a few minutes early. Since that seems like a good place to end it. And next time, we can start raiding with our wonderful fleets and wonderful armies and wonderful everything. So, we'll see, Whoops. see you then, I guess. Have a good one.